Ulnar nerve dislocation at the cubital tunnel. Okay. I need to just say that before I forget it because I just Googled it and read it. I just had myself another uh, scan at the, um, another ultrasound scan and had a good chat with my sonographer again. And the reason I did this, I was just more curious. I, I wasn't not actually expecting any injuries or anything like that, but I was quite curious in respect to the condition of my elbow. Um, as an arm wrestler, we put our elbows through a lot of, um, I guess, unnatural directions uh, and ask our bodies to be strong. And I was very curious as to what is going on in my elbow because my experience of my elbow over the last, I don't know, last month, might even be six months. We've seen me kings moving, right? We've seen me saying my side pressure's gone. We've seen me saying that I have nerve pain or what I suspected was nerve, ulnar nerve entrapment. Now, the most fascinating thing, and this translates exactly to what I have been experiencing on the table, is that when my arm is open beyond 90 degrees, more sort of at that 120 degrees, down to the one, almost 180, right? There's no dislocation of the ulnar nerve. Um, the, it stays in the cubital tunnel as it's meant to. Now, when I start to flex, it was at about this point here, so just short of 90 degrees, that whoop, the ulnar nerve would jump out of the cubital tunnel. That is exactly the experience that I, or the sensation that I've been experiencing is perfectly in line with that. Um, and the sensation I've been experiencing is that when I go to be strong, particularly in a supinated position, um, it's not necessarily painful, it's just like there's been a kill switch to my strength. Now, I've always been someone who can do my largest amount of back pressure with my arm open. Um, my, my strongest curls are with my arm open. Um, and that makes complete sense. Complete sense. Now, I asked the sonographer, I said, well, what, what physical therapy do I do to, to solve this one? He said, oh, I have no idea. That's a question for a doctor or a surgeon or something like that. But... Um, that is the next question. I like it because now I understand, oh, okay, I understand what I'm working with. I understand that um, I can start to formulate a plan to try to prevent this ulnar nerve dislocation from the cubital tunnel going on any further. And what that will mean for me is something really beneficial when it arrives. If I can, if I can, if I can get the ulnar nerve to behave. I will be stronger at the top of the table, which is cool, um, which is an area that I can definitely, definitely benefit from being stronger at the top of the table. We all can. But anyway, I just want to share that with you guys, on the nerve dislocation from the cubital tunnel from about, I would say, the 100 degrees mark onwards. Um, Beyond here, no cubital dislocation. About there and up, cubital dislocation of the ulnar nerve. Anyway, anyway, is it going to stop me? No. It just forms more information, um, more data on what it is to be an arm wrestler, what it is to pursue this sport at the highest level, and what it is to uh, press forward into the challenge of becoming a world champion, um, which I am firmly, firmly committed to. Anyway, hope you guys are well. Talk soon.